And now we uh, begin our talk with our first speaker, Dr. Manisha, from the National Cancer so Society of Malaysia. And let me give the brief introductions about Dr. Manisha. Dr. Nur Manisha obtained his diploma in Mental Science Laboratory Technology from PTPL College, Shala. And her degree in medicine was from Ternopil State Medical University, Ukraine. She has worked as a mental lab technologist in Tawakal Specialist Hospital, Jalan Kupang, Kuala Lumpur, and conducted medical tests for all for a wide number of departments, including biochemistry, serology, microbiology, and so on and so forth. She was attached at Hospital University Science Malaysia, Bantan, under various departments such as medical, surgical, and so on and so forth as well. She has experience working at managerial Sandira Berhad, analyzing and reviewing provider claims, hospital statement of account, and all tenant files regularly to clear for payments of bills and ensure outstanding bills are within reasonable aging. She is also knowledgeable in using ICD-10 pen coding, probably we did your estimation, what's this? And currently, Dr. No Marisa is working at National Cancer Society in Malaysia as education department. Uh, sorry, as Education Department Executive since 2013, mainly giving talks on cancer awareness and writing up articles and pamphlets. So let us put our hands together to welcome Dr. Manisha to give her talk. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you uh, for inviting me here and I'm so honoured to be here with every one of you. Okay, well, I'm Dr. Manisha from National Cancer Society and today, I would like to talk about uh, general cancer awareness. Right. In my talk, it will contain about what is cancer, type and origin of cancer, the risk factors, prevention and early detection, and also diet and general well-being. Okay, first of all, okay, I would like to ask you, okay, what is cancer? What do you have in your mind about cancer? So what cancer does it mean to you? Of course, it's a terrifying illness, isn't it? Right? And some people say that it's fear. Because when you talk about cancer, when you hear they say it's cancer, the word cancer, you're already frightened. Okay? But many people claim that, okay, I won't have cancer because, okay, I won't, uh, it won't happen to me because I'm strong. Okay? Like a superman. Okay, because I'm too young. Okay, nobody expect that young young people will get cancer. And then, uh, no one in my family has cancer. And maybe also they will say that, okay, I have a healthy lifestyle. I don't smoke, I eat regularly, I mean, I have a regular exercise, I eat well, so how can I get cancer, right? But all of this is the same reason. Yeah? Because cancer can happen to anyone. And can happen to all the nationalities age of groups, yeah? Okay, in fact, cancer essentially have a lot of impact. Okay, when a person is diagnosed with cancer, okay, it is not only impact with the person itself, okay? And actually, it, it has impact with the family members, okay, with the, you know, many friends or neighbours, okay, that's maybe uh, for the personal relationship with the people surrounding them. But then, about financial, Okay, once they got detected with cancer, okay, they will have in their mind that how they're going to do with their treatment because cancer treatment is very expensive, right? So that would be like thing in their mind, like you know, all these questions like uh, you know how to meet, how to tell, they don't know how to find a financial uh, you know, solve a financial uh, problem. So end up they will just like you know, keep themselves in the house and then you would go out and share their thoughts or share their problems with everyone. Which is actually like many people from outside will like try to help them. Okay? Alright. Okay, for short, I just want to explain a bit about what is cancer, right? 
Okay, cancer is actually is a non-communicable disease and is uncontrolled growth of cells, okay, which I will explain later. What is it about? And is capable of spreading and it is not in death if not controlled. So these are the some types of cancer cells. Right? Isn't it look beautiful? Okay, from here, what can you see? Like right? similarize between all of these cells. Yeah, besides from they are different colors, but it's actually like have one similar similar um, character from the cell cancer. What is this? Yeah, K and clocks, right? It's like cancer, like crab. That's why cancer, for zodiac cancer, it seems like crab. It's a sign of crab. Yeah? Okay, to understand it for cancer, okay, let me explain to you the differentiate between normal cell and cancer cell. Okay, in normal cell, our cell will grow and it will divide and it will grow and it will and one day it will die. But for cancer cell, it will grow or out of control and divide and become and become a lump. And that's what you call it tumor. And tumor, so they have two types of tumor. Okay, non-cancerous and cancerous tumor. Right? For non-cancerous, we call it as nine, which um, it can be removed, but it can't grow back. And it do not invade to the blood vessels or lymph nodes. Okay, whereas malignant is a cancerous um, cell uh, type, sorry, it will invade and it will damage the nearby tissue. Okay, I will show you, and you call it, this is what we call it, they spread, we call it uh, metastasis. Okay, these are the examples of the, uh, how the normal cell become an abnormal and normal cell. Okay? If you can see our normal cell, okay, when it be when it um, develop more of uh, cells with uncontrolled um, dividing, so it will become a malignant and or invasive cancer. And at the late stage it will go through the vessels and lymph nodes. Yeah? And this is what we call it metastasis and it will spread to other organs such as kidney, brain, and bones. Okay, the high risk factor and statistics, a bit of statistics. Okay, high risk factor, of course, the biological is like over 55 years old, and immune system malfunction, okay, and hormonal issues, uh, whereas environment, as we know, radiation, sun exposure, and maybe secondhand smoker. Okay, behavior with a uh, high fat and low fiber intake, overweight, okay, sedentary lifestyle, and tobacco intake, and release uh, hereditary, which is family history. Okay, um, specific in cancer in Malaysia, there are about one in four Malaysians are at risk in developing cancer. Okay? And it more happens to females than males. And every 12 minutes, a person is diagnosed with cancer. And cancer, does, cancer doesn't discriminate with age, gender, or race. Okay, just a quick statistic. Okay, for breast cancer, it's about 1 in 19 Malaysian may develop. And 1 in 33 Malaysians may develop of colorectal cancer. And in one important nation, we have the lung cancer. Okay, the five most common cancer in women are, okay, as everybody knows, breast cancer is the first, then cervical cancer, colorectal cancer, lung, and ovary. For else, for men, the five most common cancer in men is lung, colorectal, necessary, prostate, and stomach. Okay, for prevention and early detection, okay, these are the top five um, cancers. Okay, for instance, for breast cancer, we can do an early detection by doing mammogram, ultrasound, 
uh, breast cell vaccination. Okay, for ultrasound, we usually do uh, for age below 25. Okay, for mammograms, we they do for uh, age above 35 or above 40. Yeah. And cervical cancer to do the prevention, we have to do the pap smear and also the vaccination. These are the 10 warning signs of cancer. Okay, maybe that, uh, many no, not everybody knows about this. Okay, I will just roll one time. Okay, first, maybe there's a change in bowel or bladder habits constantly for duration of two to three months. Okay, and second, maybe it's like unusual bleeding, yeah, from any opening of the body. And third is uh, an unexplained lump or swelling. Yeah? And maybe a persistent pain and discomfort of abdomen. And number three is an obvious change in size of infections in the skin, spot, or what, or both. Right? That one can cause, uh, it cause from HPV. Because HPV is not only can cause cervical cancer, but it is actually can cause also for nasal pain. Because yeah, HPV is variety, if they have a lot of types of HPV. Okay. And number six, if a sore that does not heal changes color, ulcerate, or bleed. Okay. Seven, unusual bleeding from nose, hearing, or ringing sound in the ears. Okay. And eight, indigestion or difficulty in swallowing. This might be cause of esophageal. Cancer. And nine is hoarseness of voice or nagging for more than two weeks. Yeah, especially for like lung cancer and especially for non smokers. Right? And the last is unexplained tiredness or weight loss of 10 to 10 or more within a period of two to three, three to six months. Okay. For girls who like to, um, you know, lost weight, okay, suddenly they have lost weight for okay, maybe like 10 kilos within this month. Don't think that you are you know, healthy or what. You should seek for maybe there's some, something, some problems because you know you lost weight within a short period and it's a lot. Yeah? Okay, for the diet and general well being, cancer can be prevented with these three okay, weight, diet, and Okay, weight. It can contribute to 14 to 20 percent of all cancer deaths, and increased risk of breast, colorectal, esophagus, kidney, and pancreas. Okay, these are the BMI. Yeah. I think everybody knows how to sound BMI. Is it? No one. Uh? Okay, this is the international. Uh, index for BMI, but we use this for Asian because Asian have a small, not a uh, small um, type of body, not like uh, the international people, they have a big size of body, right? Okay, and healthy diet. Okay, healthy diet means what? It means that it's a major source of energy and can disease prevention and weight control and can improve quality of life. And about six glasses of years you can increase your risk of having cancer nine times. Yeah? And while smoking can increase the risk of having cancer 50 times. So those who are smoking, please be aware. Okay? And of course, less fat and red meat as a part of the lifestyle, which we have to take uh, less meat and more fibers actually. Okay? And yeah, sedentary lifestyle, lack of activity, physical activity. Okay, for cancer risk factors, okay, in this pie chart, as you can see, Okay, for tobacco, smoking, and diet, and obesity is actually the main cause of 
someone getting cancer. It's not because of your hereditary, your family history, because family history just takes about 15% to 20%. But many people say that when someone got cancer, they say, oh, it's because of mother or the family members who had cancer, and that's why it comes to the person. But it's actually from your lifestyle. So if you take care of your lifestyle well, then you can prevent from cancer, actually. Okay, so you just look at the pie chart. It's more than 50%, okay, about 62% is caused from lifestyle. Okay. okay, for conclusion, in general, we be just staying healthy. Meaning that if you have medication, you keep thinking positive and be honest to yourself, okay? Uh, and isolation and company, you must have a good company to build up your brand game, you know, to do a good lifestyle and stay in a healthy way, that one you have to remember, okay, be active, eat healthy diet and quit smoking, okay? I, I think that's all from my side, okay, so say no to cancer.